What is going on everybody? How you guys doing? My name is JX Kicks and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on the channel. So the reason why I'm doing this video right here is because I posted a video on the shoe already. The problem is, is that that video was very kind of like rushed and it wasn't much of a good video. So I will be deleting that one soon. But I wanted to get this one up so you could, so you guys can get a better understanding of what the shoe is. Um, and usually I would kind of tell you guys I got the shoe today or whatever. But no, that's not the case. I got the shoe a couple days ago. And I just wanted to give you guys a better review of the shoe. And hopefully, you know, um, you guys would like the video a little bit better. But um, I did do a short on this a shoe already. So yeah, I could check the short out. But the video I wouldn't recommend simply because it's just, you know, it's a crapped out version of the video. But let's get into the box real quick. So as you guys can see, a splatter print. Got the flight logo right there with the green Jordan logo right there. And as you guys can tell, you might get an idea of what the shoe is, of course. This shoe has been kind of been around recently with collaborations and stuff. So, yeah, as you guys can see right now, this is a Women's Air Jordan 4 RM. If you guys don't know what RM stands for, it could be remastered, resto mode, restore, modded, whatever you want to call it. It's a combination of restore and modded, which would be the resto mode. But yeah, I got a Women's 9, which is a 7.5 in men. So let's get into the shoe real quick. As you can see, the paper right here is just standard 23 paper. And I want you guys to keep in mind about that logo over there. As you can see, it's a bike logo. So just keep in mind, this Jordan 4 is technically an SB. Technically an SB for sure. But I wanted to give you guys my review again on these. I did kind of lace these up because I thought I wasn't going to do this video again. But I did it anyway. So that being said, here we go. This is the Air Jordan 4 RM women's colorway in the oxidized green color so the reason why i picked this shoe up primarily is because this shoe in my opinion is phenomenal this is something that you know what i'm saying i wasn't expecting but we got anyway and i was excited for this shoe when i seen it in pictures so um i know the nigel sylvester colors were released first and i get that i tried to get my hands on the green pair the gray pair was cool and all but i just have gray shoes already that i just didn't really care much for the gray ones so i wanted to try to get the green ones but i didn't hit on them but i got this one because it's kind of resembling and there is major differences like the midsole being all cream and everything but that's okay with me as long as i got you know the base of it being green i'm cool with it but let's start with the outsole real quick as usual you're going to notice that the outsole is completely off white creamish with the green uh, Jumpman logo and then a green four foot tab right there you also notice that is i think on a jordan 4 this is herringbone if i'm not mistaken this should be herringbone and then you got your studs right there as usual nice and beautiful i did not wear these sneakers yet i did lace them up though as you can see just to kind of fit my foot so but these are brand new still i didn't wear these yet um when we get to the midsole you still got that jordan 4 type of structure there of course it would be um, but the only difference between this one is that the color is just monotone instead of um, multicolored, um, usually on other Jordan 4s. So on this one, it's going to be all off-white slash cream, especially on the medial side as well. When you get to the upper, you're going to notice a whole bunch of materials on here. You got leather on the back piece, the butt part basically wrapping all around. You have it on the basically where your foot rests on the top near the toe. On the upper part which this leather is actually really good it's very good leather right there it's soft buttery and it's amazing you also have the cage right here that i want to touch on real quick this isn't a normal jordan 4 cage i kind of looked up the reason why they did the cage like this number one they wanted to make a low top jordan 4 which jordan 4s nowadays are pretty much mid top well they're only mid top um and another reason is because they wanted the padding on the inside to kind of stretch out a little bit more so that's what i read i don't know how true that is so they needed to make a cage that was dedicated to that and the only flap we have is this small flap right here which resembles that jordan 4 flap usually on the wing one if that makes sense um yeah so this is kind of like that wing part of that jordan 4 that you would get on a standard air jordan 4 um i don't know what this is all about right here honestly i didn't kind of like take a look at the reasoning behind that kind of like regular you know piece right there but you also got that little diagram on the bottom right there them little lines you got that air air drawing you got that jump man logo right there on the back 
which is a kind of it's a very interesting little touch right there which i like i like how they added that it doesn't make the shoe too too plain i mean the shoe is wild itself but you kind it kind of gives it that little character with that extra logo being right there you got the nike air on the back um i didn't expect this right here at all you know what i'm saying i expected them to put a Jumpman logo with air on the bottom and keep it pushing but they did put nike which is cool the medial side is going to show us the same thing as the other side except the jordan logo not being there but you still got the wings you still got that little logo whatever that is right there and then you're going to see mesh on the top of the shoe itself where the eyelids are um it feels fine i mean it ain't none too crazy but there's so much padding on the shoe that it's not even funny you feel what i'm saying it's made for bikers it's made for skateboarders and that's the whole point of it when we get to the toe itself you're gonna see some type of suede depending on which shoe you get i believe that most of the general releases are the suede um this is high cut suede right here so you're gonna see it kind of move back and forth a little bit i can see that um and it's just very good material uh suede i'm gonna be honest very good material it rises up the grains are right there that suede is looking good man when we look at the tongue, it gives us the same mesh with the Jumpman and the Flight logo being right there. When you look at the Nigel Sylvester's, you don't see this tag right here. You see something else on top, worded, uh, bike, bike Air or something like that on there with Jordan somewhere. But it's like a strand up top, not the whole box. On the inside, you're going to see that padding, of course, kind of to give that comfortability for the Jordan 4 itself because of what it's made for. It gives you the size tag right there with a white Jordan Jumpman logo inside with a green insole. Yeah, I can't tell because the lighting is pretty trash. And then for the shoe itself, I would give it pretty much, I'm going to give it a 7. Um, Only reason for it being a 7 is because, yes, it's very comfortable, which is what gives it a high type of number for me. 7 is pretty high for me for certain shoes. Um, But the only thing that gives the problem here is minor touches um and to kind of explain that a little bit more they could have done a better job with some colorways i mean i don't know how else to explain it like i said before i do love this colorway right here the green up top but i wish they could have kind of done more with the color on the bottom kind of make it a little bit more multi-tone like multi-color tone if that makes sense not just leaving a like single tone itself um and when I did try these on, of course, I'm going to tell you from the jump, it's just like a SB, so it's going to feel a little bit snug. So if you're a person who usually goes true to size, I mean, you can if you have skinny feet, but if you have chunky feet, like wide feet, I would go a half size up or a whole size up depending on how wide your feet is. I know some people have very wide feet, so go a whole size up if you're just using this for lifestyle. If you're using this for athletic purposes, I mean, go true to size. That's what it's made for. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I think these are phenomenal, but like I said, they could have done a little bit more with this. I know some colorways don't have, you know, just a single tone midsole. I know they have more colors, but I wish with this colorway in specific, because I wanted the green, they could have done a little bit more. But besides that, um, one thing to keep in mind is if you're getting a men's shoe, like a men's Jordan 4 RM, it is not going to have this, this um, I don't know what material this is right here. Kind of like that coffee cloth material is gonna it's gonna have like a more of a mesh kind of like this type of feel on the sock liner so keep that in mind so that is the difference between the men's and the women's but let me know what you guys think man comment like subscribe i thank you guys for watching the video and uh i'll see you guys later peace man